story time about how my fiance cheated on me with my niece who's 18 years old. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I said on Instagram. My fiance and I have been together a total of three years. We got engaged exactly one year ago. When we first met, he was totally obsessed with me. He begged me to go out on dates with him, but I never said yes. We met through friends and my friends ended up giving him my address. So this man would send me gifts every single week. He started out with flowers. Then he would send me champagne. Then he started sending me designer bags. When I told my parents all of this, they were really impressed by his wealth. And ultimately, they convinced me to call him and thank him for the gifts. And when I did that, he begged me to go on a date with him. I was scared of being impolite, so I said yes. But looking back, I should have listened to my instinct and not gone on the date. We went on a total of three dates. And after that, he started talking about marriage. I told him it was way too soon and that I didn't even know if I had feelings for him. But of course, he insisted for months. My parents really pressured me into saying yes to being his girlfriend, so I did. After six months, I was finally starting to feel something for him. Here are a few reasons why I never really liked him. He was rude to all of the waiters and servers at restaurants. He talked bad about his mom and his friends to me all the time. And he would constantly talk down to other women. But like I said, finally, I was starting to like him a little bit. He asked me to marry him and everything was fine. Up until he met my 17-year-old niece. He started buying her designer bags and cell phones part two is up part two of how my fiance cheated on me with my niece disclaimer it's not my story time i was sending me on instagram when my fiance first met my niece he would compliment her so much about her looks he told her in front of my entire family that she was so beautiful and womanly for being so young this made my family and i really uncomfortable but my niece was super flattered and before i knew it he was buying her gifts he went behind my back and bought her the latest iphone and then he gifted it to her at our next family event my sister who was my niece's mom said no she didn't want to accept the gift but my niece begged her the following weekend was my niece's birthday that day he gave her a gucci purse once again my sister said she couldn't accept that but my fiance insisted that's when he told me and my sister that he always wanted a daughter like my niece and that he was so proud of her for doing so well in school obviously he was lying after my niece's birthday i told my fiance to stop buying her gifts i told him that it was incredibly inappropriate and that he needed to take them back that's when he told me that he could do whatever he wanted and he didn't need my permission to give my niece gifts by this point i was falling out of love with him this is when he started inviting my niece over to our house for dinners he would cook lavish meals for my niece and i this is also when he started taking her to the mall for shopping trips and the only reason i found out was because i tracked his phone part three is up part, part three of how my fiance cheated on me with my young niece when i tracked his phone i saw that he was at the mall i called him five times and he wouldn't answer his cell phone finally i call my sister and i ask her if my niece is home that's what she tells me my niece had left the house with her friends four hours ago and that's exactly the amount of time that my fiance had been out of the house i told my sister i was really concerned about the relationship between them and that we needed to look for them right away by the way how stupid is he not to realize that i could track him my sister and i finally reached the mall but they weren't inside and we looked everywhere we started looking through the parking garage and we finally found them they were in his car full-on making out that's right my 18 year old niece and my 36 year old fiance my sister pulled my niece out of the car my fiance jumped out of the car and started defending himself right away that's when he said that my niece came on to him and that he was trying to stop her from kissing him that's when my niece spills all the beans she told us that for two weeks he had been taking her everywhere and buying her gifts my sister called the cops but the cops said they couldn't do anything about it because she was already 18 but her and I have a feeling that this all started before that. But my niece says no. My fiance, like the coward he is, he grabbed all of his stuff from my apartment that same night and left. And no, I haven't heard from him since. But I took all the money we had in our joint account. Over $200,000. Bye. Am I wrong for proposing to my girlfriend at my brother's wedding and posting it on social media? My brother and his wife got married last week. It was a big beach wedding with about 100 people. While the bride and groom were doing their photo shoot that took an hour, the guests were walking down the beach, having some snacks that were served, talking to each other, etc. My girlfriend and I have been together for 10 years and have a kid together. Marriage just never came up and we're both really not the romantic type. When our son was born, I jokingly told her I'd propose to her on a beach at sunset someday. So after the wedding, we were walking down the beach. We were all alone. No one was paying us any attention because there were about 100 people there. I just asked her, so beach, sunset, will you marry me? She said yes. We had a good laugh, took a selfie together, and slowly walked back to the site of the reception. We haven't told anyone we are getting married yet. It will be a courthouse wedding anyway. Two days ago, my girlfriend posted that selfie on her social media, tagged me, and wrote a caption, finally marrying the love of my life and a sunset beach proposal. Now, everyone who knows us knew it was a sarcastic caption and knew it was more of a joking post than anything else. My brother and his wife called us very upset hours after that post. My sister-in-law said we ridiculed their wedding with our post. Okay, so I didn't actually go to fifth grade. I went straight to middle school and we were still fifth grade, but it was at, it was at middle school. It was a population issue. Anyway, at middle school, we were not given recess as fifth graders, which is our right to be king of the recess playground. You, you understand, you understand. Anyway, my teacher to resolve this gave us like playtime. 
we threw a ball around and called it silent ball because he said we couldn't make noise uh one day during silent ball we were a bit too loud and um you know the teacher never shows when he's angry he kind of just sits there like and i guess we made him kind of angry because i threw the ball and he caught it and you know what he did he ripped it to shreds in front of everyone no more silent ball <laughs> i did not like that guy my mom passed away last year, so now it's just me, 15, my sister, 19, brother, 14, and dad, 43. My parents got together when they were in school, and they've stayed together all their life. They were amazing parents and basically had the perfect love life before my mom got sick. I always wanted to find a love like them, just the one person I would be with all my life. I was always really close with her and miss her so much. My dad said the same and promised that he'd never love anyone else like he loved her. However, my dad came to us last week and talked to us saying that he wanted to get with our aunt. She's been helping since mom died. We've spent a lot of time with her and our cousins. Apparently, dad and her fell in love now and want to be together. Obviously, I was furious and told him that he couldn't and that he would be betraying my mom. My brother agreed with me, but our sister thinks it's okay somehow and try to get us to listen to dad's betrayal. My dad promised my mom that he wouldn't get with someone else. If it was someone new he found, then maybe I could forgive him, but it was my mom's sister. My mom would never accept it. I would never date my sister's partner. It's disgusting. He's just betraying her in a horrible way. And like, what about our cousins? Are they going to be our siblings now? It's all so weird and wrong. My dad tried to talk to me about it, but he won't really listen and he thinks it's fine. If he really loved my mom, then he would never do this and have just refused to talk to him anymore. I want nothing to do with him and I don't care if it hurts him. He deserves it. My sister keeps telling me that I'm being unfair and selfish and to give dad an honest chance on this, but he made my mom a promise and there's no way breaking it with her sister is right. Why I stopped wearing my hair down to school. In fourth grade after class, my teacher used to walk us down to the bus loop every single day. On this particular day, we were all walking in line and the teacher was standing pretty close to me. To be honest, I don't really hear or see anything, but the teacher kind of pulls me aside. Right out of the line and everyone just keeps going. She looks at me and says, don't move. I'm sitting there like, <laughs> What? This particular day I had my hair down and I was particularly proud of it. It was very curly and it was out and free. As I'm standing there, just like waiting for my teacher to tell me what's going on. I hear it. <laughs> but I'm in fourth grade. I don't take my teacher's advice. I immediately go. <laughs> She's like, don't move, don't move. She stands behind me and starts going like this. I'm just sitting there like trusting her. Anyway, she was like, did I get it? Did I get it? I don't know, lady. Did you get it? I can't see. It's hair. But I couldn't hear the buzzing anymore, but I was paranoid. I was just kind of going like this, like the rest of the bus trip home. Bright side is, I did not get stung. This is why you might not want to eat deer meat. In late 2019, a man and his grandfather were out hunting when they spotted something way off in the distance that just didn't seem right. A deer was howling and then lowering its antlers and charging forward like a battering ram as if it was fighting with another animal. But when they crept closer, they could tell that the deer was all alone and something was definitely wrong with it. The deer was repeatedly ramming its head into a tree and then finally one of its antlers breaks off and it kneels down and starts chewing on the antler. As they're watching in horror, the deer in a sudden lurching movement gets up on its hind legs and then walks like a human into the nearby lake goes under and does not resurface. Turns out the deer had chronic wasting disease, which is a new, highly contagious neurological disorder that drills holes in the brains of those affected and leads to a distinct lack of fear and awareness and is always fatal. And now scientists are concerned it might spread to humans in 2020.